Hi guys, I'm going to talk about pursed lip breathing today. So, when do you do pursed lip breathing? It's done when you usually feel shortness of breath, like people who have lung conditions like asthma or uh, even people who are who are suffering from coronavirus symptoms might be having shortness of breath. Uh, it's also like when you're doing any activities like running, jumping, um, going up and down the stairs, some people have shortness of breath with strenuous activities. So you can practice uh, pursed lip breathing during the activity and in general, people who have lung uh, conditions can do it every two hours for five minutes. So how does pursed lip breathing help? It helps uh, to overall uh, re decrease your uh, respiratory rate, your heart rate, and it calms you down. It promotes well-being. It works on your nervous system and relaxes the nervous system. So how do you do pursed lip breathing? So for pursed lip breathing, we usually pucker our lips or purse our lips. It's like you're blowing a candle or you know, uh, blowing over warm food. So how would you do pursed lip breathing? To, do per, to prepare for pursed lip breathing, you can either, if you're experiencing shortness of breath, you can sit down on the chair, lean forward or lean over a table, or you can do standing against the wall and leaning forward. So leaning forward helps to relax your uh, m muscles which are working extra. So to start first lip breathing, you would take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. So make sure you're breathing deeper into your belly. As I said, you could practice this few times a day. It will overall improve your endurance and ability to do your activities better if you have shortness of breath. Thank you.